How to choose which pack meal is right for you? We're gonna break it down in this segment. We've got four racks on our website. Starting with the Pro Original, we're gonna walk through each one and talk about the benefits, the vehicles, and the types of uses that you might consider when you're selecting your pack meal. The original is the one that started it all. Huge in size with a ton of real estate to haul big, heavy gear. It's got a taller rail, so a little extra security. When we developed the taller rail, it was really so if we're out on the ranch and we're throwing firewood or we've got game that we're throwing in the back that we're not having to worry about strapping everything down. Now, if you're driving on the highway, definitely strap everything down. The original is uh, fully welded. It's got a solid aluminum tongue and it's fully heat treated. 650 pound capacity, it only weighs 42 pounds. So how to make the decision if the original is right for you. It's fairly universal in its design, fits about 90% of vehicles on the market. We designed it primarily for SUVs and the ability to still raise the lift gate without having to take the pack mule off the back. Um, it also fits the majority of the pickup trucks that are on the market and allow you to drop the tailgate with the exception of some of the more modern um, Dodge pickup trucks with the big Ram emblem on the back of the tailgate. Super robust, relatively bomb proof in construction. If you're really hard on gear, you've got big heavy loads and you're doing big expedition type traveling, um, or you've just got a lot of stuff that you need to take with you and your family, the original could be the right choice for you. The next product that we developed after that was the Swayback. Same dimensions as the original with just a lower rail. So the quality of the welding, the heat treating, the solid tongue, the weight capacity, all those things are the same. It's just got a lower rail. And we developed that primarily for the Jeep market. So when you've got a spare tire and you've got a receiver hitch underneath it, there's not a lot of vertical clearance there. We designed it so that the rail will fit underneath the spare tire and you can install it. Uh, in that function. You can also swing the spare tire and the tailgate out while the pack mule is installed without having to take the pack mule off. It also works great the sway back on um, anything else with a barn door. So if you've got vans that are swinging open, the Mercedes Sprinters, um, if you've got a 200 series Land Cruiser where the tailgate's going to drop, it's the rail is low enough to give you clearance so that the tailgate doesn't hit the, um, the rail. If you're a Land Cruiser customer and you're wondering, I have a 100 series go back to the original that one will allow you to drop your tailgate um, if you've got any of the gx model lexus with the big swing door you're going to need the sway back um, anybody with one of the new broncos and a rear spare tire so just think if the rear ends swinging open you need the sway back if you're really hard on your gear and you've got big heavy loads and uh, low clearance above your hitch you need the sway back The next model we developed was the Ridgeline, and the Ridgeline was developed primarily in the beginning for UTV side-by-side -side customers, where the hitch was really low on the ground and you've got the, the tire. The other pro models were too low to the ground and they would drag as soon as you went through a, a low ditch. The Ridgeline uh, looks a lot like the original, the taller rails, but it's narrower in width. So it's only 57 inches wide instead of being 69 inches wide. And then the real key benefit to it is that it's got a seven inch gooseneck riser that comes up. So when you've got a low receiver hitch, that gooseneck's gonna come up, give you extra ground clearance and departure angle on the back of your vehicle. Of course, it works great on side-by-sides and UTVs, um, but it also works great on sedans and any type of vehicle that's got a hitch that's lower than 14 inches from the ground. So some examples of that would be Subaru Outbacks, any of the Subaru models, uh, really, uh, it works great for, but we have a lot of uh, Outback customers that are using the Ridgeline. The Toyota 4Runner in a stock capacity can sometimes benefit from having a Ridgeline on the back if you're doing off-road trail driving or anything like that. Also the Prius, Tesla, we have customers uh, with those vehicles that are using it on the back. The lift gate still clears, so you're still able to raise it on your minivans, on your SUVs, uh, all those sorts of things. Scenario where we would not recommend a Ridgeline would be pickup trucks, and that's purely because you can't drop the tailgate. Now a lot of people with pickups are still running the Ridgeline because they need that extra ground clearance when they're trying to get back in the woods. Um, but they already know they can't drop their tailgate. And so there's a little bit of trade off there when you bring it up in front of the tailgate. So anything, again, if you've got a hitch that's lower than 14 inches to the ground, 
Um, even if you've got a transition from a driveway to a steep, or excuse me, from a roadway to a steep driveway or gas station, something like that. Oh, minivans is the other one. We have a lot of customers with minivans that are using the ridge line on the back. Um, but if your hitch is lower than 14 inches, you might consider the ridge line. The Scout is, is a revisit on, on what a lot of customers have asked for. Um, you know, it's taking six years of building racks and, and putting those different ideas into this one new product. And so it's, it's basically the same square footage as the Ridgeline, the footprint of it. It's 10 square feet of space. Um, it has a lower rail, so it's universal in its fit. This was an idea of how do we make um, a pack mule that fits um, everybody's needs. And so it's certainly a lower price point um, it has the built-in floor. It weighs less than all of our other products. It's 37 pounds. It does require assembly, four bolts and two screws. It takes less than 10 minutes to put it together in most cases if you've got your tools and stuff ready for you. Um, a hollow tongue, which helps shave some weight, but we do have a solid insert to allow our patented anti-wobble connection to work for you. And um, it has a really great aesthetic to it. Um, you know, it's got our, our um, it's got our pack mule top rail on it. It's got a nice face plate for some reflection and some visibility. And, um, and it really fits the majority of people's needs. So what we tell people is if you're sorting a lot of product on um, your pack mule, maybe you're at the beach and you got sand toys or you're at uh, your campsite and you're using it to lay out some camp stuff or create a kitchen, having that built-in floor is really nice. It's got a built-in bottle opener on the side. Um, if you're really off-roading and you're going to be dragging it on the ground and stuff, it's, it's not the ideal product for you. Um, the tongue's hollow, the plate hangs down a little bit, and so um, it's not so much a drag it across the forest floor. This is more um, highway, ranches, um, you know, all your basic stuff. And so what I would tell people, and they ask me a lot, I use the Scout the majority of the time right now. And so these are my daily loads that I've got. If I've got a cooler, I'm loading my dog in and out of the back, I'm going to my kids. Uh, lacrosse games and baseball games and so we're sorting out their gear on the back a lot of times I'm sitting back there um, at practice with my computer and getting some work done um, but it adds a lot of flexibility and and feature benefit to your day-to-day -day life now when I'm going elk hunting or I've got a huge expedition or I've got my whole family in tow and we're going to do something I'm using the original on the back because of the huge size and so hope that that helps um, be sure to watch each of the launch videos which are in the image carousel on each product it'll go into some additional details to help you decide what's best and if this or those videos don't help you feel free to call us here at the shop we'd love to talk to you and help you sort out what's best for you and your loads most important thing though is get out there and have fun we'll see you on the road